Hi, welcome to another episode of Debbie and Laura's Crochet and Crafts. Um, Laura's not here right now. Maybe she'll be here later. Uh, I do have Sammy. Say hi, Sammy. Say hi, Sammy. Okay. <laughs> uh, an update on my mood blanket. Um, there it is. I've got four more days for the end of this row, and then I'll start another row. Now, the pattern is just a two round granny square and one round of single crochet. And I've used the flat braid method of joining, and there's videos on YouTube for that. It's a four step or four video set to watch. But that's my favorite way to join because uh, it's easy and it's pretty. But yeah. So, like I said in my previous video, this is uh, these will be for all my moods. And like say the yellow stands for tired or lazy, which I am tired a lot because of this little lady here, but she's a good baby though. And pinks mean happy. The purples and this one here and that one there. There's other, you know, different shades of purple. There's another one, like this one here. Um, that means everything's good. Green. There's a green one here. And here and here. That means that I'm not feeling well or something's wrong. Like this day right here, my back was killing me. And uh, I think I think this day, this green right here meant I had a headache all day long. I hate those headaches. And they usually go away like 10 minutes before bedtime. So, I don't know. What else am I working on? I have started an 18 point round ripple. And I've used the it's Vanna's Choice yarns. This middle, I believe is called Ducky, but I don't know if they're still selling it or not because I got these all on clearance at Joann's when Laura and I were at the campground in the summer. This pink color is called Pink Poodle and it's Vanna's <coughs> Choice. Yeah, I know, Petey. Hold on. And I have started my second skein of this one. And I'll go get the other two. Okay, these are the, the next color. I have two skeins. And this, this one is called Raspberry. So after I finish this skein, the pink poodle skein, then I will put these on here. Um, the yellow one, it is called Ducky. And like I said, I don't know if they're discontinuing these colors or what, because uh, I got them at Joann's and they were like $1.97 each. So, hopefully not though, because they're pretty colors. Alright, and another thing I'm working on, oops, losing my hook, losing my hook, is, oh, let me clean it, scooch it over, is popcorn garland. I have this brown, and it's Red Heart Super Saver, and it's called Coffee, and I also have a baby. I have the yellow, which I believe is called Lemon, and it's Red Heart Super Saver, and it's 20 feet long, but there you go. It's Popcorn Garland, and I have the pink, and I can't remember what the name of it is, Baby Pink or something like that, but that's also 20 feet long, and what I'm going to do with this Popcorn Garland is 
uh, put it in my craft room along just two walls, like the short wall and then the long wall on this side. My craft room's in there. And uh, those are my projects I'm working on now. And uh, I think Sammy's tired. She wants to go to sleep. She's already had her bottle. So I will let you go for now, but I'll be back. Bye. I have two other projects that I wanted to show you. This one is a granny stitch hat. And I crocheted it with um, Karen One Pounder. And it's like, uh, I don't know the exact name of it, but it's variegated browns. And uh, like I said, it's a granny stitch hat with a border of reverse single crochet. So you get a little bit closer. I don't know if you'll be able to see the granny stitch. And then the single crochet, reverse single crochet border. And I think that's also referred to as a crab stitch. I'm not sure though. I think it is. But it fits my mannequin. And the other project I made is a skinny scarf uh, cowl. Now, it's all one piece, so if you wear it as a scarf, it, it kind of looked funny, I guess, down here. I don't know. But uh, you can wear it as a cowl if you double it up. Got the little, I don't know, it reminds me of like a bow or something. I don't know, but have it like that. And I made that with this little knitting machine that I bought off of eBay. Um, the other machine I had, the small knitting machine, it gave me troubles right from the get-go. So, I had fixed it once, and then it started making noise again, so I said, well, I ain't going to mess with it, because I was tired of it. So, I ordered this one, and as you can see, it's got four little feet, and uh, it sits like the Innovations, or the, you know, the Addy is um, the most, most known name, I guess that's how you say it, but yeah. And, uh, like I said, this one works a lot better than the Red Heart Upright. Uh, no, that's not. I don't know how to explain it. It's a knitting machine I had before. It's from Red Heart. It didn't work. But I made this on here, and it didn't take long at all. And, uh, I like this. It's nice. to show you some snowflakes that I've made and uh, this one is made with knit crochet and the middle part I just single crocheted around um, a plastic ring I think they call them bone rings um, I know you, you know what they look like but yeah bone rings Now the other snowflakes that I've been making, and this is the last one I just made, uh, not last night, but the night before, and I made it with the pull tabs from the Mighty Dog dog food cans, and I stiffened them with um, Mod Podge Sparkle. You probably can't see the sparkle, but it's there but there's one and these pull tabs are large um, the other snowflakes that I've made are using the Pepsi can pull tabs and here I made a blue one and I made a yellow
yellow one. Now these are made with size 3 crochet cotton. The blue one and the yellow one and three other white ones. And I'll show you those in a minute. But this one was made with uh, baker's twine. And then I glued on some pink beads, you know, right up around there. And but there's the baker's twine. And I think this is like a size 3, um, comparable to size 3 cotton. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is. But yeah, so I made that one. And this one is made with an acrylic. I think it's acrylic. Let me go get it so I won't be wrong. And I will also need my glasses. I'll be right back. Entertain them, Katie. Entertain. <laughs> Okay, this is Fernat Handicrafter Crochet Thread. Hmm. Yes, it is 100% acrylic. So, and I had bought this from the Dollar Tree. I have two of them. So, that's not bad for a dollar. And the color on this is ro Rosy Rose. So that's what this snowflake was made with. But if you can see, the Mod Podge glitter made a mess. So don't try that on acrylic thread. It works best on the cottons. Alright, so back to the size 3 white cotton snowflakes. And this one. And you'll see these colored tabs. Those were given to me by my nephew Spencer, and um, these two are my Spencer snowflakes. <laughs> and here's one with just plain silver ones. And uh, that's it. Those are all my snowflakes that I made. Uh, this one, I, you could probably see the little pink beads. They're E beads, and I strung them on the thread, the knit crochet first before I started crocheting and uh, yep so a whole bunch of snowflakes ready for next Christmas um, okay I'll show you what the, the plain ones look like which you probably know anyway but here's the large one and here is the small one. The size relativity there. But yeah, so this is from the Mighty Dog Dog Food Cans and this is from Pepsi Cans. But yep. Yeah. So, I guess that's it. Oh, um, the Mod Podge, it stiffens them, but they're not like stiff as a board. You can, you can flex them a little bit. But they're pretty much stiffened. Pretty much. So if you like yours stiff to where you can't move it, you might want to use something else. I don't know. But the Mod Podge glitter is pretty. Now I can see the glitter. I certainly hope you can. Okay. Is that it, P? Hmm? Okay. I recently made a pen hook. Oh, no focus, huh? All right, well, anyway. Um, this is a pen. I had bought it at the Michael's 150 section, calls $1.50. I think I did. I wish my thing would focus closer. There we go, that's not too bad. And I removed the pen part and put in a size 1 crochet hook. Oh, darn it. Hmm. 
Okay. What happens if I push this one? No, that doesn't work. All right. Well, anyway, I'm going to show you how I did that. Okay. Here's another pen. The same as this one. And what you do is you unscrew this part. Take out the pen. Well, there's a spring. Take out the pen. And take this part with a crochet hook. And this is a size one Susan Bates. So I don't know what other sizes will fit in there. But you push it through there. And then put the pen in here. And then screw this back on. Okay. Very easy to do. And uh, it's comfortable if you're used to these big handle hooks. It's comfortable. I, I hold my hook like this. And the little clip thingy doesn't even bother my hands, my fingers. So, if you wanted to uh, try that, it's nice, quick, and easy. Oh, and it's not my idea. I had seen somewhere before about people using, you know, like regular pens. Like this, like a regular pen. But, uh... I decided to use these because I use the big handle hooks. I, I make uh, polymer clay handles for my hooks and uh, they're much better for my hands. But anyway, like I said, there you go. Something quick and easy to try. And uh, let me fix this camera because I want to show you something else. There's Sammy again. That's my big girl. <laughs> Playing with her little toy. Hi, Sammy. You turn you around. Everybody see you. Say hi. I don't know if I've showed you this or not, but this is a little turban hat that I made for Sammy. And she looks really cute. Let's try it on. She <laughs> Let me see if you can see her there. There you go, look. Sammy! Sammy! Oh, she's playing with her toys. She doesn't want to bother. But look how cute she is with that on. <laughs> My grandson James says she looks like a genie. But anyway, so we'll put this back over here because I have one other thing to show you. And it's this. Now, this is plain and simple. Everybody's probably made one. But it's for my, um, what do you call this thing? Fire, Kindle Fire or something? I don't know. It's from Amazon. I got it for my birthday uh, last November. So I made a case for it. And it's the Michaels Loops and Threads. And it's called, the color is called Holland. And I just made it with half double crochet. And it gives it so much padding, which is good in case, in, you know, I drop it or whatever. But uh, I made a little chain loop up here. And a shank button. I put a shank button on there. And it buttons right up. And it's nice. But like I said, you know, not an original idea. Probably everybody has one. <laughs> but there you go. Alright, so I guess that's it. I'm going to put all these, ouch, put all these little clips together. And, um, Laura didn't show up for this video. Next one, I'll, she'll definitely be here for the next one. You want to take your hat off now? Say bye-bye. Or she doesn't talk. She's only four and a half months. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Alright, well we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.